Hello, my name is James Ross and I'm a charity worker. I run a charity, No Dyslexia. What is a dyslexic charity, a dyslexic community got to do with TPPA? I always thought, it won't affect me. I'm too little. We are just doing good work, helping families, helping children. What has that got to do with John Key negotiating behind closed doors? Till the question was asked, where do you think your intellectual property rights, the information that you use, comes from? Who protects it? And of course the answer is my country. I'm a New Zealander. I enjoy fair usage. So much so I took it for granted. Till I found out that very thing, sharing information, the whole fundamental of the internet is under threat because of copyright. Now I thought copyright was just about music and downloading movies and no. This copyright is about enforcement. Well how does that affect my charity? Other charities, the little guy? It's how they choose to enforce. Believe it or not, they are going to put enforcement of copyright not in a government authority, not with the courts, but with the provider, the internet provider. That's like saying to New Zealand Post, you're responsible for what this community sends out. And if any of those letters, there's something in a breach, you can be held accountable. You can be financially held accountable. What's New Zealand Post going to do? The moment it's aware, it's just going to stop collecting your post. It's not going to take any risk. How would you then like to go, oh, I can appeal this. I'll appeal this to a company? When I realised this, I felt very alone. Just a little guy doing online work, sharing information, trying to do good. What can I do to fight this? What can any of us do? And then history came to the rescue. New Zealanders can fight this. In 1986, a little guy in Palmston North decided to open a restaurant. Henry Harrod in Oktahonga sets up his restaurant and then receives a lawsuit from London for breach of copyright. Harrods London, the great big mega department store, says you cannot use your own name. He was tracked, he was lost, until his community said, this is absurd. What they did with the district council is, they actually changed the name of Otrahonga to Haroldsville. <laughs> then every business in 1986 in the town changed its name to Harrods. <laughs> the world's media got a hold of this and they lampooned the owner. So much so, he was ashamed and he had to drop his lawsuit. This is the power of people at the bottom of the world showing the absurdness of this and putting it into light. I am just a little online group sharing information and in serious danger that we could breach copyright and be just turned off just like that. But being here today says I'm not alone. I'm a part of the community and it's a community that speaks up like today. You guys are just showing how absurd this whole thing is. John Key is just another Muhammad al Fayed in his high office thinking his will will be done. Well, it's about time the media got a hold of this. This is just a joke and it needs to be held up for that. And so today, being amongst all of you, I am so proud. We are a community. We are Haroldsville. Thank you very much.